Hey guys, it's Keith and I'm back again with another car stereo review. This is on the Alpine CDE 172 BT. This is a fantastic stereo. I enjoy every moment I spend in my car and I replaced another stereo with this one and yeah, I just can't get enough of this thing. So I'm gonna get into the details on what I like, maybe one little thing I don't like. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I do fix it videos and reviews. I'll tell you what I like, what I don't like. You will see an affiliate link once in a while, but I'm not paid to do this by any manufacturers. So this is all gear that I buy and I can therefore give you a solid opinion. So let's jump in. Alpine really got it right, guys. The bottom line with this stereo is it sounds great and it's easy to use. A lot of stereos today sound great, but they're not easy to use. So everything from the button placement to the easy menus that you don't get lost in. Alpine has really done an amazing job. So this review is also going to cover 175 BT. Um, they are almost an identical stereo. There's one small difference which we will get to. So the first thing that I like to do when I get one installed is I like to match the clock and the dash color. Fairly close match. And you can make this different uh, colors. This can be different than this. And there's all different colors, red, blue, just a little out of reach. Here's my climate control and it's a pretty close match. So the install on stereos today is pretty much the same, but it's the use with the faceplate and the menus and, and getting it to operate, which is different and more complex. And Alpine made this really easy. I was able to get this working without even cracking the manual. Um, obviously, I do recommend you read the manual and install it correctly, but I'm an experienced installer and I just wanted to mention how easy the thing is to use. There's a dedicated music button, so it's easy to get in and adjust your settings. And then this, this changes color for a second. Might be hard to see, but this changed to white and that tells you you're editing. Stereo sounds great in the vehicle. I wanted a CD player. Not all stereos come with CDs anymore. so. That was important for me. It's got a detachable face for security. And then it has telephone compatibility for Android and Siri, Apple, AM, FM, obviously, CD player, USB connection, auxiliary, which is over here is the USB. Here's the auxiliary port. If you have a three and a half millimeter cord and you want to connect your phone or you want to connect an uh, iPod or something like that. You can do that through here. I do that sometimes as an alternative to using Bluetooth. It has Bluetooth Audio, Pandora, Sirius XM. Um, with Sirius XM, you do need some extra hardware. So it comes with a mic if you want to do phone calls. Nice big source button. And there's a pause button. So if I'm going through the drive through or taking a phone call, and then I can resume. That's a nice feature. It's very fast to get around in. Some stereos, there's a lag and it's a pain to go back and forth from radio to CD. Here, from radio to CD, one press. All right, and it's fast, there's no lag. If I wanna go back to the tuner, it's about six presses, but it's fast. One, two, three, four, five, six. And hey, that's typical with stereos today because there's so many features. I'll be honest, I sell. But I can get there fast if I want. So here's a CD. One, two, three, four. See how fast I can get back to the radio? So I like that feature. Some, some stereos, it's laggy. You have to take your eye off what you're doing driving to manage it. And so I like it that Alpine's made that easy to use. And I love the fact that there's these dedicated buttons to jump very easily into your EQ, your treble, your mid, your bass. We've got a subwoofer. You would be shocked, guys. I can't overstate this enough. You would be amazed how easy it is with Alpine compared to other companies just to get in and fix your bass. It's one button press. Alpine's got this dedicated music button here, and they've got a nice back button, and they're big, and they're easy to use right where you want them. It's unbelievable with some companies how it's literally five or six button presses just to get to this. Or five or six button presses plus a dial turn to get into your bass treble because these are the things I adjust 
when I'm when I'm using the, the vehicle. So very simple. I love that. There's also a nice big fast forward and rewind. So this doubles as a seek, but let's try it out. Fast forward. Okay. Not too much to discuss about that, but they're nice and big and they're in the right spot. So there's this bass boost feature that I think is unique to Alpine. Let me turn this up for a second. There's one, two. Okay, so I don't know how well you can hear that, but I never thought I would use this because I have a subwoofer. But I do use it. There's some songs that need more bass, certain CDs, certain radio stations, less bass. And it's not just raising the bass. It's I can't explain it other than it's like an intelligent bass. Each one's a little different. So you can kind of pick the one that fits with your song. So I really like that. The other thing that is amazing with the stereo is it's very quiet. Okay, there's no noise rolling down the highway. Some stereos have a whine, alternator whine. Zzz, you know it's like that whizzing whining sound you hear through the speakers it's especially common if you've installed amps and I have a couple amps in this car and I'm telling you this thing is quiet as a mouse going down the highway all right now I'm sitting still right now with the car off but it's whisper quiet as a mouse when you're going 60 miles an hour much quieter than the last stereo I replaced and I'm experienced at installing I know some people are going to say this is a ground issue. A lot of times it is, but I grounded the old one correctly. I use the exact same connections with this one, and it's quiet as a mouse. So sometimes it is a manufacturing issue. So I'm very happy with the stereo. The next thing is the display. I have the display turned down a little bit. The reason I do is if I have it cranked up all the way, it will overexpose the camera. And this is actually my third attempt filming this because I wanted to get as clear of an image as I could for you guys. And so the display is even brighter than this in person during the day. And this is the only stereo I've had in probably 15 years where it was bright enough during the day where I could actually see it driving around. And that's a big problem with some manufacturers. Alpine has really made a nice bright display. During the day, if the sun is hitting it directly, sure, it's gonna not be as easy to see, but I'm telling you that this thing is better than other brands that I've used. Alpine has this thing called a blackout feature and you can set this up during setup and what will happen is after you're driving a while or at night it will go black if you like driving not, you know not extra ambient light coming so that's a neat feature speaking of other settings and setup um, things that you can't see right now there is a high and low pass filter there are eq presets beyond your standard bass treble mid um, there's also a parametric equalizer in here there's no graphic eq but there's a parametric EQ. And the real takeaway on this, guys, is that Alpine did not clog up the menus and submenus, so you're tripping over all this stuff on a daily basis. Because usually like a high pass filter and those kinds of things, you set them and you forget them for a while. You don't need to mess with them every day. And a lot of stereos today, you know, when you're going through the sub, the bass, treble, they put you, they put you in all these menus and submenus and it's a real hassle, I'm telling you. And, and Alpine's really got this right. So I'm just thrilled with how easy this is to use. In addition to it just sounding great all the time. So this is gonna bring me to my one criticism. And that is, I wish this stereo had a faster rewind and fast forward. Okay, it works totally functional I just wish it was a little faster that's all it's a very small concern but I'm a musician I'm always listening to songs analyzing parts sometimes I want to go from the end of the song a minute back and it just you know there are companies that make a faster rewind fast forward um, that is the only one tiny criticism that I have but it's minor and I can live with it other than that this thing has ticked all the boxes for me there's one other thing I wanted to tell you about we said um, in the beginning that this review is gonna cover the 175 BT. So the only difference is that this stereo is already high powered preamp voltage. They make a 175 model, which is even hotter and even more powerful. 
This stereo has three RCA outputs, three sets, so you can run three different amps, a front, a rear, and a sub, which is what I'm doing. And it's higher powered than most stereos. The 175 is even more high powered preamp voltage. And believe me guys, it does make a difference because the last stereo I had, it had three preamp outs also, but it didn't have the higher voltage out that this one has. And I noticed it in my subwoofer. I was nowhere near getting the bass volume that I'm getting with this. And I think it's more of an issue if you don't have super crazy high powered amps. But all you need to know is if you can get high powered preamps, that's another nice feature from Alpine. And the 175 is even a little, a little bit, I think this one's four volts. And the, the other one I believe is five. And that's the only difference I could find for the 175. So they are basically the same stereo. So that's basically it guys. The bottom line is this thing sounds great. It's easy to use every day. I literally can't get enough of it, <laughs> to be honest. It's an older car, but I've got other vehicles in the household that are newer and nicer. And I actually look forward to driving this one more because I, the stereo just sounds so good. And man, with amps and a sub, it's just, it's heaven. It's just absolutely great. And it's so simple to use. And you won't be lost in menus. It's basically got every single thing that you could want on it. So I'm really thrilled. I do recommend it. Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, please drop them below. And I'll put a link in the description for this unit. And uh, please consider subscribing, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.